New here at nine, a woman accused of bilking state benefits out of ATMs during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic has been sentenced. She is the final of the 13 people involved in the scam to learn their fate. KCAL News assignment editor Mike Rogers at the desk now and Mike, we've reported on this before. It was pretty sophisticated, this crime. So how much time did this woman get? Yeah, Pat, this woman was only charged with one count of bank fraud and for her, her crime, now convicted crime, uh, she's only going to serve four months home detention. So not actually uh, receiving any time behind bars, but this was pretty sophisticated. Uh, the, what they would do is some of these people, actually the ringleaders of this, were actually imprisoned. One of the women accused of killing her own mother back in 2005 and what they would do is they would get these cards they would open bogus accounts 151 of them to be exact and then they would take those state earned uh, cards and take them to ATMs and take out cash now this thing went on for uh, several months in 2020 right at the height of the COVID pandemic when the state was really trying to work out getting unemployment benefits to everybody many people lost their jobs as you remember uh, towards the beginning of the pandemic there so these people really took advantage of it one of several stories we told you about our David Goldstein did a report about how how community college students were having their ID stolen and being used in similar fashion. So uh, this woman was the last of the uh, 13 to be uh, convicted and sentenced for the crime. Now, one of them, the woman that we told you about, who was already in prison for convicting, uh, convicted of killing her mother back in 2005, she received additional prison time, but she was already serving a mostly life sentence, Pat. Oh, all right. Thanks, Mike.